Welcome everyone. The first step to boost performance on the Steam Deck is we need to change the virtual memory value. We do this by long pressing on the power button here. And we're going to tap on switch to desktop. Once we are in the desktop mode, I want you to tap on this Steam icon here. And in the search, we're going to search for the terminal. In order to bring up a keyboard, we long press the Steam key and while holding down the Steam key, we're going to click on the X. And there we go, the keyboard shows up. You may need to try that key combination multiple times. So we see the console here, slash terminal. We're going to open this up and then we're going to type P A S S W D. See, like this. Okay. And then we're going to tap on enter. Now it's going to ask for a new password. Make sure that you remember this passcode. Okay. Otherwise, well, you're going to be locked out of doing big changes to the operating system. So let's keep it simple. I'm going to set the password to 123. And I'm going to tap on enter. And then we just retype. And apparently, I don't know how to type. Okay. So I've now typed in the password, 123 successfully, and you can see password has been updated successfully. So the next step is we need to access a browser. We do this by tapping on the application launcher and you should see here Firefox. If you don't see Firefox, tap on discover and once you search for Firefox, you're going to install this. If you don't see the discover button here, just tap on the search and then search up for discover. And then you can see the discover option will show up here. So now we're going to open up the Firefox browser and in the search bar, you're going to search the following keywords, crypto byte 33 steam deck utilities. We are then going to click on the enter going to hide the keyboard and this should be the first result in Google. Okay. So we'll just tap on this link here. So now we need to scroll down. So just need to grab the edge here and we just need to keep on scrolling until we see this link. Okay. You see that? this link. So we're going to get our cursor over this link. And if you're on the old Steam OS, you click the left trackpad here and that will initiate a right click. On the new Steam Deck OS, they changed it for some reason. So you have to click this button here, L2. So we'll click on L2, just do a quick click release. And you're going to see we have save link as we're going to click on the save link as you're going to see the install crypto utilities dot desktop. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to save this to my desktop and then I'm going to click on save. And now let's close out of the Firefox and we can see the install crypto utilities is on the home screen. If you have issues with the right click, uh, maybe they changed the button again, I'll have a tutorial on how to right click in the description. So now let's open this up. It's going to say you're going to start the program, install crypto utilities. So we'll just click on uh, continue here. And now it's going to download the crypto utilities. And that shouldn't take any time at all. So we have crypto utilities, uninstall and update. So we're going to double click on the crypto utilities here and we're going to accept the terms that we have definitely read. Now it says type your password. So we're going to activate the keyboard again, long press steam key, click on X and I set the passwords to one, two, three. So it's going to enter in the password one, two, three like this. 
And of course, if you did set a different password, then you know you'll have to set the password you used. So from here, it says, do you want to change the swap size? Now the recommended value is 16, but swap uses the Steam Dex SSD. So the English translation is when you increase the swap size, you're going to use more storage. And if you change the swap size to 16 gig, you will use an extra 15 gig of storage. Okay, so hopefully that does uh, make sense. You cannot use the micro SD card as swap. Just keep that one in mind. You can only use the internal SSD. So I'm just going to tap on yes. And once we tap on yes, you're gonna see the storage available and then the amount of swap you would like. So the developer says there is no noticeable gain after 16 gigabyte in swap. You can use up to 32. So even though I do have 208 gigabyte available, I'm just going to click on the 16 gig here and I'm going to tap on OK. So now it's going to create the 16 gigabyte swap file. You can see this will take between 10 minutes and 30 minutes. So if you're low on battery, I'd recommend you know you get a charger, something like that, or, or it just takes 10 seconds. <laughs> so let's tap on OK here. Now it says, would you like to change the swappiness? So this is just how frequently the Steam Deck is going to switch between the RAM built-in and the swap, which is of course the virtual memory. So the recommended value here is one. So we're just gonna tap on yes. And I believe that means that the swap is going to be used more over the RAM. You can play around with these values. 50 means it's gonna use half RAM half swap, uh, but the developer recommends one for the best performance boost. So we're gonna tap on okay. Then it says, would you like to enable or disable trim? We're going to enable this. Uh, this, what this does is it just helps the, uh, the speed of your SSD. So we're gonna enable this here and then tap on okay. And it says, would you like to run trim right now? Yes, I would. And so if any of these steps fail for whatever reason, like they glitch out or you turn off the Steam Deck by accident, you're not gonna corrupt the SSD. So there's nothing to worry about here. And that took about 10 seconds. So uh, I'd recommend you run that once a week and we'll click on okay. So once you have done this, a couple of things, this will persist after a reboot. So this is a uh, untethered uh, software. On top of this, if you do use Windows, these changes to the swap will not work in Windows. Uh, you won't really be able to do uh, this swap trick in Windows at all. You can also return to gaming mode now, so you don't need to stay in the, uh, the desktop mode for the changes to be applied. And the performance boost will not work on all games, but you should see a noticeable difference in most games. Uh, the newer the game, the more performance boost you will get. So do let me know in the comment section what performance boost you get personally. I don't really game on my Steam Deck. So. <laughs> I ended up loading Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Even though this game is about 10 years old, it does actually have some issues running on the Steam Deck. It would run between 55 and 45 FPS. But now you can see we have a full 60. You can see we're getting 70 FPS. So from 55 to 70 FPS, it does drop down to 60, but so uh, that is a, what, like 10 to 15 FPS boost. Uh, with that being said, please do help me reach 1K subscribers by clicking on the subscribe button. Bye-bye.